AirOS based on Android 12, the new version is out for the Redmi Note 8 users. Of course, with the latest November security patch is here for you. I tried AirOS very initial build based on Android 12 on Redmi Note 8. It was good, but there was no monitor engine which changed material you theming and there were not a single feature at all. But now in this build, they've improved some a lot of things. For example, the default UI or things are basically same like the default launcher. Of course, it's not the pixel launcher is what you get pre-installed, but the default launcher is called AOSP or basically quick step launcher this is kind of launch which we have but has the option for add app icons to home screen and very very normal features but you have the option to use the launcher or pixel launcher magisk modules are available for that if you are interested on in those launchers you can give it a try it has the good option to customize the default clock widget clock face you can see we have four faces available for you and you can customize this if you want to it's just up to you simply hold and you can simply hold and tap to finish setup and you can choose whatever style you want to use as a clock face i think it's good you can also use some other widgets android 12 is good in the terms of widgets i think so and yes, as I previously mentioned to you, now in this update, they have implemented the Monet theming or you can say Monet engine. And one of the best thing is it has the pixel apps, but it does not have the pixel launcher. But still the Monet theming is here. The themed icons is just working perfectly fine. I tried the very initial build. The themed icons were not working at that time. Now it's good, but it has very less kind of app grid styles for you. 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4 and 5 into 5 only. But yes, these are some limited. You can customize these things from launcher or pixel launcher. A lot of alternatives available for you. You can give it a try. It has a default icon pack like POSP, but I think so. POSP has this kind of icon pack. Even maybe Arrows also has this kind of icon pack. You can see the files icon, FM radio icon. These are the icons which you get in Arrow OS Android version 11 also. Including that in the terms of camera section, it has the MIUI camera included. That's good. A lot of users were looking for that. And yes, MIUI camera is finally included included which is just working perfectly fine maybe most of the things i tried clicking photos via it was working fine no issues there but everything else i think so you can simply wait for it as it is if this is still your primary device i'll not recommend you use android 12 as your daily driver because even arrow os if you try it downloading from their official website you'll see the unofficial tag which means it's not kind of that stable it's good they are improving a lot but right now, I don't think so. It's that much great. Of course, compared to the performance with Android version 11, it's not that great. I'm getting the L3 certificate here, of course, because I didn't flash firmware yet. You can try flashing firmware if you're also having L3. You can simply try flashing firmware. You might get the L1 there, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried out that. Other options or other features, if they have included any kind of yet or not, it does not have any specific dedicated menu for the features as the same with Android version 11 also. AirOS has some little bit of options for you, little bit of basic customizations for you, but within the main sub menus, there does not have the specific dedicated customization section. Same with Android version 12 also. I tried checking out some things in display, etc. It does not have any kind of options for you. I think so. They will include some bit of extra features here, but right now it's not there. We don't have any kind of customization in display section. Wallpaper and style, I already shown you. Security section does not include the face unlock app locker yet. That's why I told you, you cannot use this thing as a really driver yet if this is your primary device. It's not that bad. I'm not getting any kind of major bugs, but it's up to you. Xiaomi parts is also included by the way. USB fast charge option is not there. But yes, clear speaker is there, which is a very useful thing. Everything else is kind of good. In the terms of features or customizations, if you move on to the system settings here, if you want the gesture setting, here you have the swipe to screenshot, which is of course quite useful, including that advanced restart, double tap to sleep and playback control. So these are some basic features which you get here. These are the things I just want to let you know if you want to install this build link for the official website is in the description. Download according to your device. We are just talking about the Redmi Note 8 users or Redmi Note 8T users. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Have a nice day. Over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air